Esselamu Aleyküm ve Rahmetullahi ve Berekatuhu. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, we thank and praise Allah Ta'ala countless times that one more time we are all together at a discourse to talk about Allah. I love you all very, very much. We are whole along with you. I am commissioned to deliver to you what I receive from Allah. I've learned religion as Allah taught me. Hidayah, which has been long forgotten by many people. I am commissioned to deliver that to you. As you know, before I started to explain these things, Islam was deducted to five pillars of Islam, praying, fasting, giving alms, going pilgrimage, and shahada. And genuinely, people were believing if they fulfilled these five pillars of Islam, even though first they would go to hell for a short while, then they would leave hell, and then they will make to heaven. They were made to believe such a thing. Such a belief is totally contrary to the Quran. First of all, nobody can leave hell to be punished and then leave hell and go to heaven. There is no such thing in the Quran for that. Second of all, with five pillars of Islam, praying, fasting, giving alms, going pilgrimage and shahada, with these five pillars of Islam, which is the practice today, with these five pillars, nobody can make to happen. As long as the individual is not wishing to become milaki to Allah, as long as the individual is not wishing to render the spirit back to Allah before death, the individual cannot make to happen. Wishing to reach Allah is the word milaki, ika, likai, they all come from the same root, to reach, to attain. My dear brothers and sisters, I love you all very, very much. And I thank and praise Allah Ta'ala countless times that we live in a world that is based on love. Others? They are the ones who are in their hatred and grudge. They are the ones who do not know what love is. Of course, they will live as they wish. But if they think they will be saved with five pillars of Islam, even though we reminded them numerous times, they will realize that is not the case in sadness. And we'd like to mention that one more time. Human beings, especially Islamic world, have forgotten the essential parts of their religion. Fourteen centuries ago, our Prophet Wasallam and his companions, they all wished to reach Allah. They all took a pledge of allegiance to our Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Wasallam. That's the second stage. They all rendered their spirits back to Allah. Three. They submitted their physical bodies to Allah. 
four. Sonra onun sonlar. They submitted their souls to Allah, then they became muhlis ones, and finally they also submit their free wills to Allah. Wishing to reach Allah therefore is one, pledge of allegiance to a murshid is two, spirit to return back to Allah is three. These three stages is a guarantee of Allah for each and every individual. Allah Ta'ala says, Whomever wishes to reach me, I deliver them to myself. That very special help of Allah is for everyone. The individual makes the wish to reach Allah. And Allah gives the love of Murshid, religious guide to that individual. When the individual performs Salatul Hajj, necessity prayer, Allah shows the Murshid, religious guide to that individual. The individual takes a pledge of allegiance. Along with pledge of allegiance, spirit leaves the physical body and joins the group of spirits that are on their path towards Allah. After that, the individual will increase the zikr in different levels till the spirit returns back to Allah, my dear brothers and sisters. Approximately three hours of a zikr a day makes spirit return back to Allah. That's good enough of a zikr. My dear brothers and sisters, individual who is wishing to reach Allah receives high level of help from Allah. That help makes spirit return back to Allah. Whomever makes the wish to become mulaki to Allah before death, as Allah Ta'ala indicates, I deliver them to myself. Yet, the wish has to be within us. We have to make the wish. My dear brothers and sisters, the only thing that Allah wants from everyone is happiness and there is no way to happiness. Our soul is full of vices. Our spirit, on the other hand, is full of righteousness. And therefore there is a hundred percent balance. Hundred percent righteousness in our spirit and hundred percent vices in our soul. Spirit is actually the spirit of Allah. Spirit that Allah blown into us, which is blown into us as a trust. Allah Ta'ala says, Render all trusts back to their owner. Return the trust, says Allah Ta'ala. All human beings are responsible rendering the spirit which is a trust within them. They are responsible rendering that back to Allah before death. Allah Ta'ala says, Urji ila Rabbike, return back to your Lord. Allah Ta'ala refers to spirit saying that spirit, return back to your Lord. Returning back, reach your Lord, says Allah Ta'ala. There is a justice of Allah for every individual at the beginning. The individual has a soul 100% full of vices. 
And Allah Ta'ala also blows a spirit that is 100% full of righteousness. Therefore, there is a perfect balance. On one side of the scale are 100% vices, on the other side are 100% righteousness. Allah Ta'ala creates that balance between vices and righteousness. Every individual starts to life with such a balance. But Allah Ta'ala has a command. There is one thing that Allah wants from us. Allah Ta'ala says, that spirit belongs to me. And I obligate each and every one of you that you have to render that spirit which belongs to me back to me before death. I'm obligating you with that, says Allah Ta'ala. You are all responsible fulfilling this, indicates Allah Ta'ala. Well, we have a soul 100% full of vices, we have a spirit 100% full of righteousness. There is perfect balance. Well, once our spirit leaves the physical body in order to return back to Allah, we only end up with a soul 100% full of vices. Cleansing of the soul is a concept that is related to this. We have to cleanse the soul. And there is only one way to that. That is called zikr. Whoever repeats the name of Allah saying Allah, 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 Allah. Whoever repeats the name of Allah saying Allah, Allah, Allah. That individual is fulfilling zikrullah. That is the zikr of Allah. Zikr that is over all other religious services. And religious service that will get the individual to cleansing of the soul's heart. If the individual has seven to eight months of a lifespan, zikr will get that individual to that point. Allah kelimesinin tekrarı Allah'ın katından repeating the name of Allah invites the glories from the presence of Allah. Onurlar Allah'ın katından göğsümüze glories come from presence of Allah all the way to our chest from the chest they get into the heart and they start taking place in our soul's heart. Did we have a balance earlier? Yes, we had a soul 100% full of vices, but we also had a spirit 100% full of righteousness, and that was a perfect balance, and everybody is created upon that balance. Yet after our spirit returns back to Allah, there is no such balance anymore. Spirit that is 100% full of righteousness leaves the physical body at the point of pleasure of allegiance to a murshid. And spirit of Allah starts to its journey towards Allah in order to go through seven of the heavens and to reach Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, to live for Allah means to cleanse the soul and to live for Allah in a greater extent. Is to submit spirit, physical body, soul, and free will to Allah at the end. Which brings higher level of happiness at that time. As we know, human being lives upon a balance. Soul is full of vices, spirit is full of righteousness. There is a perfect balance. Well, 
whoever steps on the path of Allah to render the spirit back to Allah Allah Ta'ala starts eliminating vices out of the soul's heart 7 times 7% and initially 2% and Allah Ta'ala replaces those vices with glories My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, think of Allah. And that is Allah who only wants your happiness. And Allah Ta'ala put the formulas of happiness first in Torah with seven stages and four submissions. Four out of these seven stages are submissions and three are the procedural parts. One, wishing to reach Allah. Two, pledge of allegiance to a murshid. Three, submission of spirit to Allah. Four, submission of physical body to Allah. Five, submission of soul to Allah. Six, becoming a muhlis one and seven submission of free will to Allah within that context spirit to go through seven of the heavens emmare levame murhime mutmaine radie mardie and teskiye levels within these seven stages 7% of virtues start accumulating in this soul's heart. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart. Allah Ta'ala wouldn't do anything without a reason. All his commands should be fulfilled as the rules of Allah. And all these rules are commanded by Allah for human beings' happiness. Human being is the most beloved creature of Allah as Allah blown into them from his spirit and wants them to be happy. Therefore, asks the spirit which is given to them as a trust back to himself before death. Spirit exists as a matter of balance at the beginning. Since there are 100% vices in the soul's heart, Allah Ta'ala blows from his spirit, spirit that is 100% full of righteousness. As soon as it gets into the physical body, there is a perfect balance. Allah Ta'ala certainly blows a spirit into every newborn individual and that creates the balance that is perfect. There is always such a balance. When we take a look at the second balance, there is soul. But there is no spirit because spirit is on its path towards Allah as it left the physical body. Then Allah Ta'ala has to provide that balance within the soul's heart that for delivers glories into the soul's heart to provide that balance. My dear brothers and sisters, everything is so perfectly designed by Allah. Those who get to know Allah, who can talk to Allah, it is not possible for them not to admire Allah. First, you like Allah, then you love Allah, then you fall in love with Allah, then you admire Allah. Allah. 
stage after the submission of soul to Allah is where admiration starts taking place. Submission of free will is where admiration takes place at the utmost extent. Then you sing the same song, is everything so wonderful or is it only me feeling this way? My dear brothers and sisters, Allah Ta'ala says there is nothing else for human beings but to work. This work is the effort in order to be for Allah. When the individual starts having such an effort with such a process called zikr, the individual starts filling the soul's heart with 7% virtues at MR, Devva, Memil, Himem, Mutmaine, Radi, Mardiye, and Tiskia levels. With the initial 2% mercy accumulation in the soul's heart, Seven times seven forty nine percent virtues plus two percent mercy fifty one percent glories accumulate in the soul's heart, which means more glories than vices. There are two percent more glories than vices in the soul's heart. The glories take over the soul's heart at this point. My dear brothers and sisters, to live for Allah is to live for others. As Allah always wants you to be happy, therefore obligates these upon you as well. Wishing to reach Allah is an obligation. Pledge of allegiance to a murshid is an obligation as well. Submitting spirit to Allah is also an obligation. Submitting physical body to Allah is an obligation. Submitting soul to Allah is an obligation. Becoming a muhlis one is an obligation. And submitting free will to Allah is also an obligation. My dear brothers and sisters, Your soul is designed in a way that you have to make that to be worthy of Allah, which is also a trust given to you. Spirit is a trust. It is going to return back to Allah. Soul, on the other hand, is a trust given to you. You have to cleanse and purify the soul. Once you have 51% glories in your soul's heart, 49% virtues and 2% mercy, once you have 51% glories in your soul's heart, your spirit returns back to Allah. Once the glory accumulation is 81%, you submit your physical body to Allah. Once the number is 100%, your soul submits to Allah. Your free will will submit to Allah way after that. My dear brothers and sisters, everything is so great. To like Allah, to love Allah, to fall in love with Allah, and finally at the end to admire Allah. That is a magnificent process that you go through. 
kurtarmak istediğini nereden anlarız? How do we know that Allah is willing to save all people? Well, we understand that from Torah. We understand that from the Bible. And we understand from the Quran. My dear brothers and sisters, we looked into Torah and Bible as well. As you all know, we already have a commentary of the Quran that is 8,536 pages long with, within 19 volumes. But also we looked into Torah and Bible. And we realize that seven stages and four submissions are also in the Torah. My dear brothers and sisters, seven stages and four submissions. That is obligation of Allah upon every individual. Allah Ta'ala loves you all very much. And that love is for each and every one of you. But love of Allah changes from one individual to another because everybody deserves differently. My dear brothers and sisters, love people. If you do love, then you start living for them. That concept of living for others, that means you dedicate yourself to the service of others. You live for them. And you fulfill all kinds of things just for them. If they are happy when they are with you, if you are capable of making them happy, if you are not bothering but making them peaceful, then you have been fulfilling the duty of Allah as Allah has signed you with. All those people to be able to have happiness and peace is based on elimination of the vices in the soul's heart. It is based on the rate of vices with glories. At the beginning, your soul's heart is 100% full of vices. When the individual is in continuous seeker, your soul's heart is 100% full of glories. 98% virtues and 2% mercy. 100% glories all together. 98% virtues and 2% mercy. My dear brothers and sisters, then you become happy and you live in peace. Then you deserve the love of Allah. Allah loves you as much as the rate of glories in your soul's heart. In other words, if you want Allah to love you more, then you need to increase the rate of glories in your soul's heart. And there is only one way to increase that, which is zikr. 
Getting to final result is only possible with continuous flicker. Ulul al post, Ihlas post, and Salah post. They are three posts of sainthood, and they are all related to continuous zikr. They are the fifth, sixth, and seventh of the stages. Wishing to reach Allah, pledge of allegiance to a murshid, submission of spirit to Allah. and getting to stages after these three refers to individuals' progress on the spiritual path. There is happiness for each and every one of you, my dear brothers and sisters. Only if you fulfill the commands of your Creator, Almighty Allah, whatever the level that you fulfill commands of Allah, your happiness will be exactly at the same level. That is the rule of Allah. The more glories you can fill your soul's heart, happier you are. To live for Allah is actually to live for others. Once you truly understand your happiness is directly related to the happiness that you give to others, and you will understand that very well. Therefore, everybody is capable of being happy. Therefore, the individual who claims to be unhappy because of others' treatment should know that he is unhappy because he is not treating others well. If he can change himself, then others will change their treatment as well. Whoever is complaining, whoever is saying that others are mistreating me, they should know that since he is mistreating them, therefore he is being mistreated by others. And that is the rule of Allah as well. Love for love, hatred for hatred. Therefore, you go ahead and love people and prove that you love them at every occasion. Then you will realize that those people will love you back. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah Ta'ala loves human beings the most. only blown into human being from his spirit. Therefore, it is not enough how much you thank and praise Allah for only being created as a human being. In regards to progress, on the path of Allah for you to be able to explain to the people that are around you in regards to beautiful notions of Allah. That might be a prescription of salvation for each and every one of you as well as those people. Allah would like to save all people, yet people throw themselves into fire. Because human beings are created with free will. They are free to do anything they wish. But every second, every second, every individual either lose a degree or gain a degree. 
An individual may think that, well, I'm not doing anything right now, therefore, I'm not harming anyone. Hence, I'm not losing any degrees. But since I'm not doing anything positive, I'm not gaining degrees either. If the individual is thinking that way, in regards to not gaining degrees, that individual is right. But the individual who is not doing anything wrong, simply because of not doing zikr, that individual is losing degrees. Allah Ta'ala says, when you are standing, sitting, and lying on your sides, always do zikr of Allah. An individual can be in three forms. You're either standing up, sitting down, or lying down. And Allah Ta'ala wants you to lie down on your side, as your ear will be on the pillow. And your ear on the pillow will hear the heartbeats. Along with the heartbeats, you will say, Allah, 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 Allah. You will go to sleep doing the zikr of Allah. If you can do, you will realize one day when you wake up in the morning, you are still doing zikr of Allah. And that is one of the happiest day of your life. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah Ta'ala loves you all very much. How much do you love Him? That is based on your level of zikr. Your zikr shows your love to Allah. What is your level of zikr? Within 24 hours a day, if you are doing 2.4 hours of zikr, in other words, it's not 3 hours, but approximately 2.5 hours, in case you are doing zikr in every 2.5 hours, then you love Allah 10%. When you can do zikr 12 hours, then you love Allah 50%. When you go to sleep in zikr and you get up with zikr, you will realize that you are still doing zikr when you wake up. That means you are doing zikr 100%. My dear brothers and sisters, that's what Allah commands you to be. Allah loves most those who do most zikr. Those who are in continuous zikr are the most beloveds of Allah. Those who are in continuous zikr are those who love Allah the most. They love Allah the most, therefore they put their efforts in regards to Allah. They are the ones who live for Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, I love you all very, very much. Asking Allah Ta'ala to grant upon you unlimited happiness. Asking that from the Almighty, I finish my discourse at this point, inshallah. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.